Hello, this is Hussam Hurani, and today we will talk about clustering. We will see how to paint data and uh, how to use k-means uh, to cluster the data. Before I give you the example, <clears throat> let's just recap with the, uh, the machine learning algorithm. So uh, previously we talked about supervised learning, uh, which is classification and regression, and we said that supervised learning deals with the label data. Today we will start with the unsupervised learning, uh, which is data with no labels, no targets, no output. Uh, so we have two things uh, under the supervised learning. We have clustering and dimensional reduction. Now in clustering, suppose that we have uh, this group of data and this group and this group. How can we um, uh, build uh, or we can use machine learning to identify these groups? From eye and from sight, you can directly identify that this is a group, which is this green one, and this is another group, and this is another group. This is what clustering is all about, is to have uh, data uh, maybe more complex than this one, because this is obviously three uh, clusters clearly identified, but uh, you might <clears throat> have data with much more complex uh, distribution. So you need to uh, use machine learning to identify the clusters for your data. <clears throat> so uh, in orange data mining and clustering, we have many um, clustering algorithms. Uh, uh, we have k-means, Lovian clustering, we have db scan, and we have hierarchical clustering. And we, I will explain all these um, mo models uh, uh, in uh, orange data mining. This is uh, an example of clustering. This is unlabeled data, okay? And we need to use k-means to identify these three groups. The three, we call it three groups, or you can call it three clusters. So we have a green cluster here, the blue and the red one, and the centroid is uh, in the middle of each cluster. So the centroid uh, plays a key role in k-means, in k-means to identify all the related data uh, for each cluster. This is another example. Uh, you can see that these are closed a little bit to each other, but if you use k-means, you can identify these three clusters in this way. But what about this, uh, these groups, these data sets? For example, this one. Can you, from I, just identify the clusters or from this one? Because of this, actually, we use clustering. So to, to identify uh, the proper clusters uh, for our data, so we can then build on the clusters and we can then uh, identify solutions for the clusters. Let me uh, directly go to uh, Orange Data Mining and give you a simple example. Here, uh, we're going to uh, use paint data. Paint data. I'm going to make it very simple uh, for this example. We will use uh, just one, uh, one C, which is one, one, uh, one group of data. I will uh, put the data. So I'm going to draw the data. You can draw whatever your data you want. But here, I'm going to draw this data. And I'm going to have this also. And I'm going to have also this one here. OK. So uh, let us try to identify these clusters uh, first by using the uh, something called interactive interactive k-means, which is a widget uh, under the um, educational panel. So you need to make sure that you install the, uh, the uh, educational panel uh, uh, by clicking the educational here. This, this is the educational, and you click OK, you install the widget. So this is the uh, interactive uh, k-means. This is an educational widget first. <clears throat> so if you double click, you will see that these are the initial centroid for each the uh, classes. You can run <clears throat> the uh, simulation to from educational perspective uh, to see what clusters you have. So uh, I'm going to keep it running. So it identify now the following clusters and it, 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 it tries uh, its best to identify the best clusters for us. And these are almost the clusters. I will not stop it. I will let the system stop it. And it's a stop now. So this is a cluster. 
and this is a cluster and this is a cluster by running the simulation so by running the simulation you will start identify and see how the cluster key means works how the key means works so this is an educational widget but what we're gonna do <coughs> is to connect this to k means algorithm this is the k means okay and from the k means uh, you have uh, options for clusters you can identify which clusters you want for example i need three fixed clusters or you can uh, uh, choose from two to eight clusters for example so two two is uh, 0 0.5 three clusters 0 0.9 percent which is the most uh, uh, highest value uh, in the um, uh, silhouette scores so the scores here tells you that your data uh, have most likely three clusters but also you can have two or four or five the way that you want i'm gonna keep it just uh, from two to eight and i will uh, ask the key means itself to identify the clusters okay so this is this is for the key means what i'm gonna do then uh, i'm gonna show the clusters uh, i'm gonna use a silhouette silhouette uh, plot and if you double click you will identify that we have one two and three clusters three clusters in this way as you can see the blue one okay the red one and the green one these are the three clusters of course you can uh, click or you can connect to scatter to see these clusters so if you click uh, scatter and you can pick from here uh, the cluster uh, for the color and let's say uh, uh, shape also cluster so you can see that the system itself identifies that you have three clusters automatically by choosing uh, these options from key means uh, we choose uh, two to eight clusters and it pick up the uh, best solution for you which is three clusters of course here you can go and show colors for each cluster these are the most likely cluster for red and this is for the blue and this is for green now uh, you need uh, to just to uh, to have uh, also uh, different maybe things like uh, you can uh, connect this to data table okay so you can for example select this data and you can see it from here see and you can select other data or you can uh, select whatever data you want from here okay this is for this one uh, for also um, data we painted uh, you can connect to data table to see what data you have so this is the data you have x and y so you don't you don't have the target you don't have an output it's just x and y and k means by doing clustering because it's unlabeled data it identifies these three groups for you uh, of course you can select for example two groups let's just or, or three groups or let's have two clusters uh, i need just two clusters and let's see the results uh, this is the results this is one cluster in a blue and this is another cluster so we have now two clusters but you have the option to let the system identify the clusters for you or you can select fixed number of cl clusters and from here you can see the silhouette scores uh, and the best uh, number of clusters that you might have which is three clusters of course you can also save the data if you want you can save uh, this data uh, so you can cl uh, click save data and you can save the data into uh, for example excel sheet uh, so you can identify and read the data uh, at a later stage so from here uh, we what 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 we done in summary we painted data like this uh, we don't have the label data uh, it's just x and y uh, we then asked the key means to identify the groups and, and it identified the highest score which is three groups which is three clusters and from so will it we identify these three groups as you can see you can view it in that uh, table also <coughs> we, you can uh, show it uh, by using uh, scatter blot and choose the cl cluster uh, from color and shape in this way so this is the lesson for today we will talk also more about <coughs> clustering uh, we have different uh, uh, mechanisms and different algorithms that i would like to explain and we'll see you next uh, lesson bye